Hello guys and welcome back to CK3, a game of thrones, as House Baratheon once more returns to the faith of the Seven under Lord Humphrey the Righteous. Probably righteous for <laughs> returning to the faith. They're in a very interesting state in Westeros at the moment, with the Iron uh, Islands taken over by Faeron thanks to our war. But having to defend the claim here. Hopefully he wins, because if he wins, then Godri here will inherit, who is a Baratheon, the North. Nothing's happened there. <laughs> the Riverlands are fighting in a random war in the Stormlands, but they are our strong, uh, one of our strong allies. The Vale has no allies. The Reach are the Reach. <laughs> Dawn is decent. And the Stormlands are now ruled by Renly's son, Renly, who I believe we can get an alliance with. And we have two children that I want to marry away and see what allies we can get with them. I'll save a little bit, because we're already married to the Tullys, so I don't need a second Tully marriage. Let's get a claim on Faring Cross as well. Yes, the big problem is uh, this bastard. Literally. <laughs> However, we do have, hopefully, uh, a pretty strong claim on him. Which, yes, uh, since last episode we declared him a bastard. And we're given that claim. Though we've not been able to push it yet, just as we are not in a very strong position. It could be strong of us to seize the Stepstones, uh, but from what I understand, these are pretty weak regions. Although, if you were to combine them together, you're still looking at about 10,000 men, which is about the same size as my army. It could be do fun to do a game in the Stepstones here. I just am not a fan of uh, the Bitter Steel being there, which, to be fair, the mod, the mod creator knows my thoughts on the <laughs> Bitter Steel there. Sorry, you... He wants to be region, huh? Fuck off. Who needs a successor? You do. Oh, a, a, a birthday present just for me. It's my actual birthday soon. So thank you, game. I'll happily take a present. It's a shame it sucks, so let's just take the gold from it. <laughs> Thanks for the present, I destroyed it immediately. You're going to inherit the High Lordship of Eastweald. That's not good. I mean, I'll just conquer it back if you do do that, but that'd be mean. I don't need to speak through that language. Legendary armor, but very expensive. I believe he was there last session as well. Uh, the last episode, he was still kicking around in that area. I'd be interested to know how many of you guys who watch, like, actually, you know, full-on also play CK. Like, how many of you guys play CK? How many of you guys just watch it? And those of you who do play, uh, do you do much multiplayer? That's always been a thought of mine. I mentioned in previous episodes that I, I think this game is better for multiplayer and CK2 is better for single player. And I, I hold by that. I think you can get some very, very good... Oh, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. And he's a kid, right? Ah. Oh. He doesn't stand a chance. And we're just making ourselves so strong. And, uh... Because I've, I think that... Um... Multiplayer, when you turn multiplayer into actual roleplay, rather than just... Flat out Crusader Kings conquer, conquering stuff, you can have a lot of fun. Uh, like, if you think my CK2 games are hard, like hardcore... Playing as the character roleplay, you've not seen me in a multiplayer game. <laughs> Betrothed can marry my half sister to one of the reeds, for sure. Well, it's good to have the uh, reeds sort of alongside us, the Kranach men. Very interesting race, the Kranach men, if you uh, have ever read about their lore. God, we lose so much money when our army's up. 
that's sort of the pro the the one problem here. Like these make us decent money, but when the army's up, we just do not have anywhere near enough. Armies are expensive. Simple as. I've not actually stationed them. Interesting. Okay, when I go back, when I de-raise them, I will actually station them for the bonuses. I can daydream about strategy. Seems useful enough. Small little beast. Um. I think that's an, me avoiding an event that would have made me infirm, is what's that saying. Boom, a bunch of new... Slightly disloyal, of course, but new vassals have joined Dragonstone. I want to see if I can also get one on Rook's Rest. You know, while I'm in the mood of conquering things. I want him to let him go. Too many held batteries. Hmm. He's a kid. I could give him back the title. But I don't know if he would like me. What well, is the capital? Yeah, he is the capital. I will give it back to him. Because he's a child. So he doesn't hate me too much. Look at that. Doing that actually makes him like me. Plus 67. Very good. That's good for us. Well, Stannis' Regalia has a low durability. Let's... I've got to cost a lot to repair it. A new Hedge Knight. Oh, and my Architect has died. Did my wife also die? Why is... Oh, no, because he's a Castilian. Oh, silly me. I'll take you as a Castilian, then. Um... No, he's not great. I don't I will accept your gifts, Lord Ivory. And I'll also invite some mites, because bloody hell we need them. It's disappointing I let my amount of knights get that low in the first place. Yeah, some knights are starting to arrive. You can keep I temperate's completely fine. Especially with how much stress it costs to get rid of temperate. Right, get me up to 150, and we'll spend it on... Because I wield this regalia, don't I? Your cops will be filled. I'm correct in saying that. Yes, yes, okay. Let's reforge that. Oh my goodness. They keep dying. Let's reassign Forgood, and then assign my half-brother Quentin to that region. We go look at that. A paragon of virtue. Exalted amongst men. Aren't I incredible? Moribold. Let's have a look at these knights. All pretty good. Don't have the money to recruit uh this guy. But Moribold seems to be the only one who would be worthwhile. Ooh. I'll go into debt for this. I don't even care. <laughs> Let us... I am on collect taxes. Okay. Get a bit more prestige. Even though I don't have dread. And honestly, I'm now going to switch to a domain focus. Just because diplomacy is... Like, at 42, diplomacy is not going to do a lot for me. It's kind of the problem. Oh, and an increase of feudal taxes, too. Let's get up to 5.3 a month. And we now have a claim on Rook's Rest. Meaning we can get this bit, and then uh, everything will look even more ugly because the Vale has needle water. <laughs> God damn you, Vale. But having. 
as I said, I mean, you are as much of the crown as possible, but specifically having this bit, you know, makes us, and then this bit being the crown, makes us a contender, so to speak. Let's get to stationing some of these as well. Mostly the ones of a larger size. And which of these two? These are literally the same. Why do I have two of them? Rather than just whatever. We don't question why I, I do things. Because I forget sometimes. What is this? Is that? Yep, yeah, it's the Westerlands. <laughs> some of this borders are so confusing. Had's done. Get the toy back. Let's go for had's done. I really feel had's done is the right move there. Oh, I keep gaining his arrival. Invest in a smithy or a sculptor's workshop. Let's turn a quick profit. I know the other options are great, but don't want to stay in debt for too long. Interesting. Yes, let us. We keep we keep stop being rivals and then we end up rivals again. Lysa has come of age. Can we get a good alliance? The reach, but the whole reach, the whole red wines, 60k men allied to us. Could it possibly be? Surely not. Just to check, what would that? Ooh, that might just tip the scales. That might just tip the scales. Why is she in jail? <laughs> She's in Joffrey's jail. Okay, interesting. Is there any other alliance I could get? Not a major one, it looks like. Well, do you not have any spare sons? No. Do you not have any spare sons? Surely. Surely. It seems entirely because they're isolationists and I have too many existing alliances, which, that's fair. Another bold man. You love to see it. Keep our gold up. Keep your money up, not your funny up. And a little crash. Wonderful. Hey, it wouldn't be Crusader Kings if there wasn't a an occasional crash. <laughs> it, it's like standard protocol at this point. Let's see. So as long as we have the amount of lines as we have, there's not going to be anyone else we can marry into. Lord Byron is Lord of Longbar. He's in a Liberty faction? Okay, leave it. Nope, he refused to. How nice. Hmm. I could build hidden passages. No, I'll just go through the front door. <laughs> I don't see the need of a hidden passage in my own uh, place. I mean, no, don't think anyone's going to try and kill me. At least hope, I hope they won't. It'd be really rude if they tried to kill me. <sighs> Look at that. We've got such overwhelming numbers again. Again, I want to be clear. This Crusader Kings Series A, the CK2 game, 
that's the one where I don't do this over and over again and just expand. <laughs> but I've, as I've sort of said, I feel who just you're my ally, bro. Why are you why are you doing this? What the fuck? Huh? Question mark? Question mark? I guess I'm gonna have to call in my allies then. We're gonna turn this into a major war. I don't care. You wanna do stupid stuff? We're gonna do stupid stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Reach joining us. I feel like you kind of ask for this. I think the phrase is, uh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. What are you Oh, he's still raising his army. I could be a little sneaky Pete and just disband it. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you wouldn't do in a, uh, roleplay game. Let's put it that way. Oh, I could get a claim on the arbor? No. Wait, there's a new... Is that a new Lord of the Reach? He died as soon as he joined my war. Wow, and then you have no interest in an allying with me. Damn. And there should go the entire Stormlander army. Ooh, collect taxes effectiveness. Yes, please. Or as we call it in the business, Hello, I like money. Oh, you can deal with that one. Ooh, big money. Big, big money. I've slaughtered a whale. You ask me? He deserves it. Oh, no. You stay there. Um, we'll assign someone new there. Where needs control? Oh, it's my vassal's lands. They can deal with that themselves, surely. Let's move to Siege Rook's Rest. There we go. Just clean out whatever's left of them. I'm going to be incapable, aren't I? Yeah, I have learned, and I think I mentioned in the previous episode, I've learned to turn this off since. But this is genuinely one of the worst additions they've ever made to CK. It does nothing. It's literally just a way too high chance to just have your character become completely useless. And now I just have to sit with this character who's minus six to all of his stats and cannot have any more children. Like, if you if that happens to you while you're young, you're just screwed. And it can happen to you while you're young. It's not infirm. Even then, infirm can apparently happen when you're young, so what's the bloody point? You know, it's it's really disappointing that of all the events that they could have added and all the features they could have added, they just added one that just arguably just makes the game less fun. My son is trying to... Mate, you're not going to be powerful enough to do anything. This war's going to be over soon. Oh, no, wait, no, he actually will be, because it's a full regency now. How could I be so foolish? It goes like Lord Giles all over again, poor fella. <laughs> Let's see. You're a kid, so it would be... Who has, who has the capital? The capital of this is you... And I'm pretty sure if I grant it to you, you'll be happy with me. A hundred. He loves that I went to war with him. Alright, you can leave my court. You can get the hell out of here. And get me a maester. Because I'm going to bloody need it. A big amount of money. Is that... Armor smith still here? I, do I have armor? I have powerful plate armor. And then I have Fury as well. Still in good hands. But let's check my call. Yeah, he's legendary. So I think I'm going to give a chance and see if I can get like a top, top level item from him. Well, Donald the Brave is hosting a feast. Unfortunately, I got uh, a Grand Tony, but I can't go because I'm incapable. Some of my knights are qualifying, no? Good, good. Do I dare try and take Dusk? Do I just keep going, you know? Not as Lord Humphrey, I don't. Alright, let's pause for a sec. 
get our estates in order. I have a kill. On Spevens. Do I still have my claim? I do, but now I have no allies. Wonderful. Do you have a son, but he's sickly? That would be a silly alliance. <laughs> oh, someone new. The Renly died, so it's all of a sudden Ganos is now the Lord of the Stormlands. So it's Dermont, Redwine of the Region, Ganos, Baratheon in charge of there. Baneful are still here. Where's uh, the Lannisters are back, right? Yeah, the Lannisters are still in Castle Rock. And the Lord, Selden, Lord of Die. How is she alive? Wait, she isn't, is she? Who was... No, it, it, it is her. She's still alive. Bloody hell. Can't stand her. The absolute worst. I don't need all of these. I do enjoy having two swords, though. That's very fun. Let's get... New steward. Uh, ah, we'll get you because you're you're a powerful vassal, and I don't want to piss you off. That would be a bad move. Move you to domain. You to the main. Oh no, it's not going to be enough, is it? This is not a good sign. Why are you intrigue? You sneaky bastard! You were probably pl plotting stuff on me then. We'll get some natural dread. Close all that. Don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about that. At least, like, not immediately is what I'm saying. Uh, new successor. Yep. And we can seek. Oh, I don't have the prestige for that. Never mind. Yes, I shall continue the commission. Okay, it does seem as if there's no way I'm going to be able to get four out of four. Why do I have five out of four, though? Oh, because obviously, yes, crabs return. Um, do I have... Is there a, a... No, I wouldn't want to give it to them because they are married normally. So let me see if there's... No. I'm just having to be a Baratheon around. A spare Baratheon I could give that to. But it seems like it's time to take it out of the Baratheon family. And let's give it to a Stormlander. And grant him Crab Isle to make him loyal. And then we'll have to give Dragonmont to. Uh, a small time noble. I mean, I can take it back at any time, but it's annoying to, to lose that because it's very good money. Sure, Lord Byron, at once. Serve me well. Get to have a Mordoon Neils now. Lord Gendry of Blackwater. Hmm. A lighter purse is a lighter mood. Because I'm greedy? Yes. I'm very greedy. Sorry, he's very greedy. I'm trusting? Question mark, question mark. Oh, I'm generous. Very different. How is he alive? 63 and he's got about 600 different injuries and wounds. Let's hope I don't get the bad one. Because I had like a lovely high quality item. Alright, go down to the dungeons. You do anything even slightly bad against me, it's the dungeons for you. Got him happy and now we can make Hull happy. Keep the grandeur up. And let's upgrade. 
a bit. Oh, I don't have the money still. This is how expensive they are. Let's get the tax up. Oh, Lord Arlen's shield. So it wasn't even army he ended up making. He made a shield. So that goes in the court. Oh, I have to deal with you two bickering first, do I? Ah, shut up. <laughs> Stop fighting. Let's get the Stormlander Tapestry up there. No, we, uh, okay, sorry, Tapestry there. Baratheon House Banner there. There we go. And... Alright, we already have to start. I guess the statue will go there then. Well, no, the book will go there, so they even. Thank fucking fashion designer. They in Sim City design and all of it. Oh, why was I at war for a second? What am I doing that would take me to war? I wonder what this. Why did I murder him? Simon Spevens. Why get myself with a murderer trait for this random dude? Doesn't seem worth it, you know. Ooh. I hope I intimidate everybody so I can get the bonus from that. Because that's a lovely bonus. Thank you, kind sir. How do we fix this? How do I get this there so that we stop this ugly border gore? You know? Mm. Horrifying executions. That sounds like the perfect modifier any reasonable king should have. What duchy is it here? The Baywater Woods. I see. It's quite a large one, but it would need all of this. And whereas Duskendale... Is it a fully united county? Yes. So if I spent some time on the capital, I could get a claim on Duskendale, probably. And he has no strong allies. But he does have a large army. Half sister can marry into the Stormlands. Get us allied again with our neighbours. We just keep losing knights. Every time we gain a new knight, we lose a knight. It's not great. Why can I declare in the veil? So yeah, I, I this is part of Crackle Point then. Wait, is it part of Needlewood? Oh god, it's part of both. It's gonna be part of both, isn't it? One, one's on one side, one's on the other. Just to make it awkward. So Lord Arthur has the claim on the Lordship of Baywater. We can do that, right? Push his claim. Help a brother out a bit. Get ourselves some land. Because he's still my vassal. And the gauntlet as well, there's a claim on. Interesting, because the gauntlet's also in that region. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Don't need any allies though. I got this one, don't worry boys. You, you want me to stop the war? No. You like me, right? Even though I... Sorry, my dad claimed your fur and I didn't. I've done absolutely nothing. I'm a great guy. Rodent killer. They call him Dovahkiin. Rodent killer. Oh, uh, can't get much worse than that. Stillborn son. I think the control in Dragonstone is fine, right? 
Yeah, it's perfect. And we took him hostage, so that should be the war. Wonderful. Makes wind water a bit bigger. And one of you said you had a claim on yes, the gauntlet. That's you. That would be really poor to call for you to have both of those. But I don't know, because then I'd only need these two myself. It's not a terrible idea. But I would basically be converting wind water into wind water and bay water. Which is that'd be a very large. Mm, I don't know if I want to take the risk of making him too large. Yeah, we need to make we need to make use of this stuff when we have these kind of That was weird. Why didn't that happen? The army was both raised and didn't raise at the same time. Schrodinger's War. I do not know if the war is declared until I look in or out of the... God, it's so funny that you want to fight me. Um... Get wrecked. Another victory over Dawn. This rivalry I've had with uh, Dawn has lasted forever, I swear. Who am I trying to sway? Let's just not do that. I don't know, even know who that is. That was the lesser lord there. So I assume back when he was uh, a duke, he wanted to... Or ducal title, he wanted to take care of that. There are no dukes in Game of Thrones, although there probably are. I just can't remember from the law. I'm sure somebody's probably been referred to as a duke before. You can use Restore Accolades. Where did they go in the first place, you know? Let's restore them. Get these two and get the war done. And honestly, I'm going to move from Duskendale because I don't need that county for a while. Let's get a claim on these two instead. There we go. Secure the gauntlet. I can point a worthy successor to the Beast of Crab's return. Oh, that's the Lord's Helm. Sorry, it's the other guy. It's you. Sean sure, Mandon could be your successor. So I say there's a faction against me. How dare you? How very dare you? Okay, let's just keep this feud going. Why not? Yeah, you can go meet your peers. So who is it? So it's Rook's Rest and basically the two people who I willingly brought into my service are the ones that aren't a fan. Well, we'll sway you. Should be easy enough. Do I have a claim on event? No. Get Dread K. I I think I just want to get the torture tree done before I do any other tree. It's the most logical for the way that this guy's been acting, you know. <laughs> like an evil prick. When are you going to die? Look at you, getting fat and sick now. He has every trait. Like, ever. Uh, I'll do it if you give me a claim. No. I just love the, the, the concept in this situation. That he has spent his life doing everything he can. Just travelling... Drinking, fighting. <laughs> a very different Joffrey to the one you know. Still gluttonous and wrathful, but not, I guess, fully evil. If he was evil, he'd be gone a long time ago. Goodness, is... who, who has this claim? You also have a claim on Blackstripe. 
Let's do it. Why not? This Border King's Landing, boys. This just would be a fun idea, so why not? Well, my Chancellor died. That's not fun. Yeah, Dragon Monk could be my Chancellor. Becoming my Chancellor means you instantly become bold. What a shame. My, my lord, I don't want to be your Chancellor. I want to keep my full head of hair. They also lose their clothes and end up like that. I don't know why. 1.92, this is still on 1.92 by the way, is, is a really weird state that the game was in. <laughs> and I have to go back to this version every time I want to play this series. Thankfully the uh, the new campaign um, is going to be set. Uh, this campaign is going to continue obviously. I mean the new... Okay, that's a killer. Yeah. Why not? The new campaign in um, the historical one is going to be set in the new update instead. So it'll hopefully be less nonsensical. Let's kill this guy. Unless I can also get a claim on you. Why are you allied to Rook's Rest? I should tell my, my Lord of Rook's Rest to stop getting in my way. <laughs> Invite knights, yes please. This time I might actually have some gold to buy them with. Oh, my wife's pregnant again. We'll keep our fingers crossed. For another son, because... Well, he's no longer sickly, but he's only quick. Can I get anyone else to join the scheme against her? No, then it's pointless. It'll just get me found out. He's just a cat. Leave the cat alone. If there's any option to pick a cat over a person, I will pick a cat. Oh! You want me to rejoin the law? Die. We're doing a full 180 on the law. <laughs> Look, Stannis loved it. And his kids loved it too. But we ain't Stannis, we ain't his kids. He's like our great great granddad at this point, right? No, just great granddad. My mentor in the evil things. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Is she sickly or something? But that I've not seen it happen twice in like such a a short span. It's very sad actually. Fist of the Vanguard. We can destroy the voice of the law. Because they... We ain't with law no more. Let's do two wars at once. I'll stop on us, you know? Because Rook's Rest can't join him. If he does, he's not getting any birthday presents. Um, yes, my son would be uh, a good squire, because for him to learn the ways of being a knight, I can take, I'll keep his pelt. We'll go hang that on my walls. This system is actually visible and like this invisible pelt that's here. <laughs> Which I hope is a glitch. A liberty faction against King Joffrey. Why not just like the independence faction? No, no, no. Uh, a claimant faction is what it would be. Yes. Come join my claimant faction. It'll be so fun. Everyone will love it. We'll grant this to a Stormlander. Screw the Crownlands. Stormlands are way cooler. I 
honestly, I'd love if there was a way to diverge and create like Dragonstone culture. <laughs> like, they're becoming very, very significant. And no, we're not doing this. I don't care that you don't like me now. I don't think you're going to be around much longer, mate. Can I kill you? No. Somehow. It's, it's as if you have, like, the greatest minds in your castle or something. <laughs> Disband that. Fear of a lady we can destroy. But thanks for giving it to me, I guess. Uh, I'm going to give you both. You can have both of them. And then... I don't have the gauntlet, you have the gauntlet, so the guy who's in the gauntlet would have to make the title. Which is Lord Irwin here. In that case, I'm just going to grant Greyhelm to, to Wendelwater. So I don't have to deal with it. Look at that, we're forming very, very strong lands now. Just need to find a way to get Needle Warner. Even though it's only one province, I really want it. Ugh. So I want to go to War of the Veil over this one tiny bit of land. I mean, I don't know. Let this guy die already. Look at him. I think that'll be a question for next time. Next time we will... Uh, or, you know, leave in the comments your thoughts about going to the War of the Veil vale over this land. If it's worth it or not. Or if we should slow the expansion, maybe. Focus on building with from within. Building up the family a bit. Seeing if we can maybe push a claim or two. You know. It is a fam our family's claim on the Iron Throne, after all. Yes, that will be it for this session. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, bit delayed due to multitudes of factors and having to re-record it about 150 times. But that happened eventually. <laughs> if you did enjoy, please do leave a comment. And I shall see you all next time. Until then. <laughs>